This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Almadex Minerals, Dr. Morgan Poliquin. Morgan, it's great to have you back on. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great, thanks. How about you? I am doing well. Listen, um, the company has made a very concentrated effort in developing uh, targets and projects in the uh, Nevada region specifically and in other regions as well, but definitely North American focus on not just gold and silver projects, but you know, copper porphyries as well. The last couple of releases, which were a week apart, kind of speak to that, right? You went ahead and had a release on the 22nd where you sampled 0.59% copper and 0.18 grams per ton gold in outcrop at the newly acquired porphyry target in Nevada. Then you followed that up with news yesterday uh, where mapping and soil sam sampling is outlining a potential porphyry center and lithocap alteration at the Paradise Project. So clearly you've been busy in the field. And look, given your cash position, given where I think copper and gold and precious metals are headed in the second half of this year, and given the abundance of targets and the history of discoveries that you and the team has a track record for, I thought it'd be a good time to have you on and uh, make the case as to why Almadex is one of the better speculations out there right now. No, well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's nice to be talking about uh, some some new things. We've been, uh, uh, you know, just to kind of describe what we are, we are, uh, um, you know, people like the term prospect generator. It's a good one. I think Rick Rule coined it, and we were one of the first people to to basically, I would say, more out of necessity because you can generate more things than you can explore um, comprehensively in any given time. You know, we we uh, we developed the idea of uh, of advanced uh, exploring our own properties um, uh, uh, after we after we discover them and, and state them, um, and uh, either ourselves or with other people, and and we kind of advance that uh, by getting our own drill rigs and. Uh, of course, we've had a lot of success uh, in the last 20 years uh, in Mexico. I think uh, people know that very well. And, uh, you know, changing dynamics there, we've decided to refocus in the United States. And I say refocus because I, I uh, generated uh, some ideas and some thoughts um, that I've refined over the years. Uh, and we actually acquired the Paradise Project back in 2008, but have been kind of focused elsewhere. And so we've carried on with that idea in the last... Uh, I would say a uh, couple of years I've been focused on generating uh, in the United States and um, you know, we're putting together a portfolio. There's several news releases that uh, we put out on, on how many early stage things we've been staking and basically moving through our call it sieve system where we, uh, you, you know, obviously uh, some of them bubble up to the top and uh, that one of these is um, the newly acquired, uh, one that we're speaking of here, which uh, which we call Radio, and it's uh, it's in Nevada, and um, it's a work in progress. But uh, we found uh, indications of a porphyry system. Uh, we found copper and gold at surface, uh, as we described in the release, and and uh, it's already staged. But it's really exciting to see the uh, thesis, the regional concept that drives the the exploration program, actually um, pay dividends in terms of actually finding uh, mineralization at surface and obviously to be able to stake it. The Paradise Project is something that, uh, again, we've been working on some time, but we've uh, refocused on it and uh, uh, we've done some exploration around the periphery, but have our, our detailed mapping over the last year has defined um, basically a core zone, which we think is the upflow zone from a, from a buried porphyry. And uh, that's really exciting because uh, obviously in, in today's world, uh, finding copper uh, with your gold, uh, and that's what copper porphyries uh, uh, can do, is, is pretty exciting. So uh, to define targets like this um, with uh, various different uh, layers of information like uh, geochem and, and, and alteration is, uh, I think, really special. So we're going to continue doing, uh, you know, moving these towards... Uh, uh, making drill decisions and 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 so on, uh, but we have other properties that are earlier stage in the portfolio that will continue to advance and look forward to uh, hopefully being able to talk about them in uh, this year. 
You are one of the busier companies. You're afforded the luxury to be able to be busy at very competitive rates because of the fact that you own your own drill rigs. And frankly, you train your staff very, very well to deploy those rigs really efficiently. Can you just give us a quick uh, uh, contrast as to what the market cap is versus the cash position? Because it's pretty compelling. Yeah, well, as of uh, as of today, um, you know, uh, we're, I can't give you the sh I got to give you the share price right as we're talking here. But uh, obviously, the markets have been pretty challenging. But uh, we've got a market cap, uh, um, you know, in the uh, I guess thirteen in million Canadian range. I'll help you out just because I was looking at it million. earlier. <laughs> Okay, 13 million today, and uh, yeah, we've we've at, at the end of the third quarter, which is the last uh, publicly announced uh, financials, we had uh, about 17 million in cash, and of course we've got uh, um, some royalties in the portfolio. They're early stage, uh, uh, non, you know, none of them are producing, uh, you know, on expiration projects, uh, you know, a couple in Nevada and Canada and so on and so forth. Uh, there's there's problems in uh, in Mexico, as as we've spoken about, but we, uh, you know, we're we're focused in now in the United States, and and we've got uh, uh, one drill that we we brought up to to the United States, and and we hope to do more of that, and we're also, uh, um, you know, developing these early stage projects. So uh, we've got a project in the Yukon that we haven't spoken about, where we have uh, 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 a resource uh, on a zinc. Uh, Think silver projects. So there's a lot in the portfolio to uh, to kind of discuss and, and flush out. I'm looking forward to a busy year of exploration. We've known each other for well over a decade now. I want to say uh, going on 15 years or so, 14 years. And you know, my favorite way to add value is via the drill, but there's nothing as exciting to me anyhow as a, a discovery of significance and watching that grow. You've done it beautifully in the past and I'm looking forward to a, a, a busy 2024 for Almadex. And again, um, the cash position alone makes Almadex a compelling speculation. And then you get all the proper properties, the expertise, the drills, the royalties, um, a lot there. Anything to add to that, Morgan? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what I really want to uh, tell people is that we've been, we've been focused on generating a lot of early stage projects. Um, in the past, we were trying to work through our, our portfolio of projects. Uh, and, and I think, um, you know, we're basically re, re de, redeploying our effort to uh, what we're really good at, which is generating new ideas. And, and as you say, uh, we have the, we have the, um, uh, you know, the capacity to move them forward with our treasury. Um, obviously uh, these are tough times, but uh, you know, I think uh, with our in-house drilling, um, you know, we, we can do, uh, we can do a lot with very little, and uh, there's no guarantees that you're ever going to make a discovery on any 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 of these properties. But I, I think we've shown in the past that we're pretty good at, uh, at at creating new opportunities, and and I'm really excited to be working back in uh, um, you know in the United States, particularly in Nevada. Uh, people may not know, but uh, our founder, my dad, uh, uh, in, you know, many many years ago made a made a discovery. Uh, uh, not far from the Paradise Project, a high sulfidation project called Santa Fe. It has another life in a in a completely unrelated to us company, uh, which is exciting to see. But there's a lot to do, and it's nice to get back to our knitting, as it were. Looking forward to you focusing more on what you do best again, and that is making discoveries. Morgan, thank you so much. Thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care everybody.